you bring on in january you bring in february wood the priest of today if we tell you what wood you should bring is a problem now look at what nigeria and ghana are doing disappointing how people are making movies to discredit genuine prophets so the devil has even bought into the and you have generals even archbishops are appearing in movies to discredit christianity i understand when fake apostles do it but when archbishops start doing it when bishops start doing it that are well respected in the realm while is they are highlighting a fault they are also messing up because they are telling the world that it's okay they believe there is this fake movement yes there is but it is nothing compared to the actual thing if you teach people fake stuff they won't know when the real comes because fake things come in many forms but real currents real money is you know you know when when the bank tellers are trained they're not trained to spot fake currencies they are trained on what the real money looks like so that when the fake comes they can see it but we are producing even movies even financing movies that talk again as apostles talk again as prophets talk again as pastors you know what now christianity is lost people think everyone is faking and christians are excited when a preacher is only able to talk without power they say this one is the genuine one hey <laughs> this is a movie called a prophet so fast one and fast two expose all these shimamigams of the false crocus it's just that it's the money that uh we don't have we would have done something like that we let long ago we have the idea to do it but we don't have the money to execute it but now you can hear robust angel you know but one thing is is claiming that that movie is an attack on christianity is an attack on prophetic is an attack on uh uh genuine uh crocacy that is a big lie Uber's angel is a big lie truth stands alone nothing disturbs the truth you are feeling guilty Uber's angel that is why you are coming to say that movie is against christianity or against the genuine crocacy it's just exposing the falsehood if your own is truth you don't even need to go there you don't need to even argue just stay your limb stay your limb enjoy yourself because you believe in your crocacy because it's true but because your crocacy have question mark yes you have a lot of question to answer because you claim that you are the biggest crocus in the world you you are the biggest seer in the world no crocus come coolest now this thing has now exposing all the shimamigans you and your fellow first crocus are doing the fake miracle fake crocacy is exposing you faithful if you are for the truth if you're speaking the truth if yeah if yeah crocus, crocus is real you just need to appreciation the movie and go for it. You know, it's feeling pain, feeling guilty because it's exposed. That movie exposed a lot of how they do their shimomicans, how they pick their crocus, how they get people say lamba. Because I will tell you, I can get your phone lamba, I will get this one. All allies. You can see it because if you are for the truth, truth, truth stands alone. You don't even need to cry. You don't need to lamentation. That movie is not against. It's just to watch the body of Christ. It's just for people to understand, to know who to follow, so that they will not pour victory. Yes, I love that movie. Even if I've not watched it, 
I've heard a lot of people saying things about exposing falsehood. If you are false, this movie will pay you. But if you are the truth, you will love the movie. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. God bless.